Blockchains hold the potential to completely change the internet as we know it. But if you've been a user of this technology, then you know that we still have a long way to go. That being said, there's a ton of promising technologies out there that are relentlessly developing towards a future of bringing blockchain up to the level of mass adoption so that it can scale to billions of users. And in this video, I wanna talk about yet another player in this space that's been getting a lot of buzz lately that takes a completely novel approach to scaling blockchains other than the likes of Ethereum, Solana, or other popular solutions, but in fact is not actually competing with them. So wait, what? That sounds crazy. Well, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna get ahead of the next crypto wave and become a blockchain master, then I can show you how to do that step-by-step -step from start to finish over at adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's jump into this. So in the last month or so, there's been a lot of buzz going around about the Celestia network, okay, for a couple reasons. One, they just had a huge airdrop for their uh, TIA token, which has made a lot of people, you know, very happy uh, with the rewards they got for being an early adopter of this technology. But reason number two is that this airdrop coincides with their long-awaited mainnet launch, okay? Because since 2019, Celestia has been uh, building quietly behind the scenes, and now their real product has actually launched. So what's all the buzz about? Like, what does this actually do? Well, in simple terms, it lets you mash up multiple blockchains together to take the best parts of each of them to where you can more or less create like a super chain. For example, if you say, hmm, I really like this part about Ethereum, or I really like this part about Solana, and you don't think either one exactly fits the use case that you want to do, you can remix them to where you can make something entirely new that fits the use case for you and your users. So let's see how that works. So every single blockchain basically has four different responsibilities. It has execution, it has settlement, it has consensus and data availability. And now the earliest blockchains that we have uh, do all of this on the same blockchain itself. So if you think about a blockchain like Bitcoin, uh, it does all of this stuff. Or if you think about like a blockchain like Ethereum by itself, just layer one Ethereum, it does all this stuff, okay? So that's what's called a monolithic blockchain. But really there's a new type of architecture in blockchain called modular blockchain architecture, which splits this responsibility up to multiple layers, okay? So you might've seen this with something like Ethereum, where uh, you have Ethereum layer twos, okay? Where you have the base underlying layer one Ethereum blockchain, but then you have the second layer on top of it with something like Arbitrum or Optimism, where you have the second environment that works kind of like a blockchain, but it still piggybacks on top of this layer one Ethereum, where you can basically take some of these responsibilities like you see uh, right here, and you put them on a different layer to optimize the performance, and then you take the other layer to take the other parts of this technology stack right here. So that takes it away from a monolithic to a modular approach. But with this modular approach, like I'm talking about Ethereum layer ones and layer twos, you're still using a predetermined tech stack by the creators of the technology itself, okay? So that's where Celestia comes into play. They basically let you take different blockchains and different technologies and mix and match them together to create your own recipes for whatever, for whatever outcome that you want. So basically, uh, for this execution layer right here, you could use Ethereum, for example. You could use one of these other Ethereum layer twos, like Optimism or Arbitrum. You could even use a blockchain like Solana for your execution environment, okay? And then, you know, using Celestia, you can take the infrastructure that they've created and use a Celestia infrastructure for the consensus mechanism and also the daily availability part, okay? And then you could pick whatever blockchain that you wanted to that's supported for their settlement side of things. So you could use Ethereum for the settlement if you like that idea. Or you could potentially even create your own blockchain and use that for the settlement side of things. And so that's a way where you can take these four responsibilities and delegate them to the best you know, technology, air quotes, best that you deem for your specific use case. Now, that being said, like what do these words actually mean and what is actually happening behind the scenes? So let's take a look at what some of these mean, like consensus, for example. So basically, you know, all blockchains that you know, settle transactions have a consensus mechanism. So Bitcoin is the earliest and easiest one to understand. It uses proof of work where you have miners on the network 
that compete to solve cryptographic puzzles. And whoever wins that, my, you know, wins that uh, contest essentially gets paid the Bitcoin, you know, for including that transaction into the chain. And then, you know, all the other nodes are agreeing inside of that to settle the transaction. Okay. That process of consensus is the consensus algorithm for Bitcoin. Okay. So same type of thing with Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum has its uh, proof of work consensus mechanism where basically you have validators who are uh, staking Ethereum to the network you know, to help do that. And then whenever they propose a block and the entire blockchain agrees upon whether that block is valid or not, you know, it gets included in the chain, that consensus process is consensus. And that whole consensus process is the idea that you're putting, you know, valid transactions into the blockchain and not doing something you're not supposed to. Now, the other part of this data availability, that's where basically, you know, anybody should be able to look at what's on the blockchain and, you know, verify that that data is actually valid, okay? So what's cool uh, about Celestia is that they're introducing this concept of light nodes, which is a you know concept that's been around in blockchain for quite some time. We in the early days we had the dream that we'd be able to run full blockchain nodes like on our smartphones or with consumer hardware. Uh, we still haven't gotten to that point yet, uh, but there are certain use cases for light nodes. Okay, that's not a full node in itself, and that's one thing that Celestia does is it uh, is working towards having light nodes where you can do data availability on consumer hardware device, you know, potentially like a phone in this case, where you can actually, you know, solve this without having to rely upon that from another chain. And part of that process could, could be to boost decentralization if everybody can do it on their phone. Now with Celestia's design, basically you get to pick what you can do with execution and settlement, uh, but then consensus and data availability are come out of the box with Celestia. So what does it use uh, underneath the hood for that? Well, it works on a Cosmos-based technology, so use the Cosmos SDK and also the Tendermint consensus mechanism. And another promising benefit of this type of design is that if you want to spin up your own you know, recipe for a super chain, I'm really just kind of making that term up as I'm making this video to kind of simplify this whole concept. If you want to spin up your own you know, super chain that's a mishmash of all these different technologies, you don't have to go through the process of like, convincing a whole bunch of people to run a node to run your blockchain because that's that's something you have to understand like if you wanted to create a new blockchain from scratch you have a bunch of problems one is you have to convince a whole lot of people to actually run enough nodes to make your network you know decentralized so you get to tap into the network of the celestia validators that can basically do that for you for this you know consensus mechanism and also the data availability which talked about with the light nodes and then on the other side of the things like if you were to launch your own blockchain you might have the massive hurdle of launching your own cryptocurrency. You might say, hey, there's a, that sounds like a great idea. I want to launch my own crypto. But it can actually present a huge hurdle to actually launching your project to convince people to, that this token actually has any value, you know, to get past any type of regulatory concerns you might have for launching your own crypto. You can basically use the built-in uh, TIA token as a part of that ecosystem so that you don't have to bootstrap your own cryptocurrency to make this thing work. And so that's an overview of, you know, so how Celestia works. And that's kind of why people are excited about it. But what does all this really mean, okay? If you could create this, uh, you know, super chain like I'm talking about with all these different, you know, technologies remixed together. Well, the potential is that it provides a novel approach to some of the hardest problems the industry is trying to solve. So one of the biggest issues is how do you create a decentralized blockchain that's ready for mass adoption? Because if you're going to have a peer-to-peer -peer payments system that can rival major competitors like Visa, you know, how are you going to be able to, you know, create that type of alternative that can actually scale? That's the classic problem of the, the scalability trilemma. You have three things at play, decentralization, security, and scalability. And basically, it's like pick two, okay? And you optimize those two and probably compromise on the third one by some tolerable amount, okay? And previously, with other blockchains, like the people who are building the chains are deciding those for you, but you have the option to figure out what the best trade-offs for you if you're going to launch something with this. And it also opens the door for, you know, anybody to launch a new chain like this, almost like they would be launching a new smart contract off of an existing blockchain. So it completely reduces the barrier of entry for that. So that being said, you know, what are my thoughts on this? Well, I definitely think it's an interesting and novel approach. Uh, if you've watched any of my YouTube videos before, or have been following me for any length of time, you know, I still have a pretty strong bet on the Ethereum ecosystem and their design, but the Celestia stack is not exclusive of that, okay? And this introduces several novel variables in the equation that could produce some interesting outcomes. Now, that being said, uh, if you've watched my videos, you probably know I'm also a pretty big fan of traction and technology that has real adoption, okay? 
I like to follow technology that shows strong growth in terms of developers, users, and history of technical reliability of the chain. And at this point, you know, it's really too early for me to tell exactly how this is going to pan out. But that being said, I will continue to keep an eye on this technology as it continues to develop because I'm always open-minded and trying to find, you know, who's doing new things and where this technology can head. So if you want to see those videos as they come out on this technology as it progresses, you know, as we potentially enter the next crypto expansion, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications down below so that you don't miss a video. And also make sure you leave a like on this video because that really helps this channel out so that we can bring blockchain education to the masses. And whenever you're done with that, I want to know what you think down in the comment section below. Does Celestia have massive potential? Is this overhyped? Is this somewhere in between? I want to hear from you. And finally, you know, if you want to get ahead of the next crypto wave and become a blockchain master, then now is the best time to double down on your technical skills and become a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step by step, start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Okay. You're allowed to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp